Hello and welcome to my fit plan. In this video, I'm going to explain to you the cycle phases and the symptoms that come with them. So I already explained ovulation in my first video. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you the cycle that comes after ovulation. So if we go based on my plan, my plan starts with week one being ovulation. And then after ovulation, we go into what is called your luteal phase. So if you don't get pregnant, women go into what's called your luteal phase, and that is your body getting prepared for your next period. The luteal phase has a phase one and a phase two. That phase runs about two weeks long. It could be longer for some women depending on their cycle, if they have a longer cycle. With the luteal phase in the first part of that phase, you're still going to feel good. You're gonna feel energy. You're not like having those crazy cravings. You know, mentally you're stable. And then in the second part, so this is the part that I'm referring to in my plan for this purpose, is going to be that week before the period. So you'll start to notice a slow decline in your energy the closer you get to your period. And also like really before you get to your period, a couple days before, even if you don't bleed, you may experience those symptoms such as insomnia, overthinking, you know, you're easily irritated, um, tension, anxious, um, you know, you're thinking a lot about your body image just because you actually do tend to blow. So we tend to kind of overanalyze during that phase and you may be a little bit more sensitive than usual. That should tell you, okay, you're in your luteal phase. You may have those cravings. Also, you're more hungry. All of those are normal signs of your luteal phase and a sign that, you know, you are in the correct phase and your body's responding normally. So that's typically going to be your luteal phase. I hope this video helps. If you still have questions and you're not sure where to start on my plan, feel free to reach out to me.